Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we're going to talk about Pop! OS on the Raspberry Pi. And, uh, of course, Pop! OS is one of those distros that is just approaching the world with Storm. It is very good, especially for a distribution based on Ubuntu. And trust me, distros based on Ubuntu is starting to fall out of favor with me, including my beloved Linux Mint. There's been a lot of issues coming down the line with the, with the basic Ubuntu code base that's causing a lot of downstream issues. We're going to set all that aside today because Pop! OS is making a lot of positive directions and one of the things that they did is releasing a Raspberry Pi 4 image. So you can head on over to their website, download the image. It's going to download as a, uh, as a uh, compressed image. I think it's uh, about 2 gigs here. Let me find the exact file size for you here. And when you download it, it is going to be a 2.5 gigabyte download. It compresses to 8 gigabytes when you un open it up. As long as you have the disk's utility installed, double click it. It will automatically uh, prompt you for where to put that and make absolute certain that you're not writing this over your main hard disk. That is going to be an option that you have in that drop down list. So make sure that uh, you have that. In my case, it took about 10 minutes or so to write to the drive. Now about my Raspberry Pi, I retooled my Raspberry Pi to boot off of a USB drive or an SD card. I'm using a USB 3.2 drive on this because it should get about three to five times faster speeds than the SD card does. And once we got that set up, then we went ahead and popped the, um, we went ahead and popped the, the drive on into the Raspberry Pi. And once we did that, then we, after of course all the ra basic Raspberry Pi stuff, we get our rainbowy screen. It's going to boot through a bunch of stuff and then it's going to boot on into the operating system. Now, whenever I boot utilizing my capture card, you might see some screen flickering temporarily. That did not happen on the real hardware as I'm looking at directly on the monitor. But when I redid this, through the capture card. The capture card itself is causing that light bit of flicker and it does resolve itself. Now here is a concern that I had. I also recorded a little bit of footage today from Manjaro and a little bit of footage today from the Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit edition. Both of these will allow me to set my screen resolution to 1080p. Um, while I attempted to do that on Pop! OS for this video, it does not allow the pass-through of the 1080p, so we're stuck on the 720p, so that's why our screen resolution is a little bit messed up. It was a limitation. It looked like as I reset it, I could have run through it if I wanted to stare at this tiny screen in OBS and see what I was doing, uh, because the capture card was not allowing the pass-through to the 1080p on my computer monitor. That was not the case for Manjaro and for Raspberry Pi OS, so that is certainly something wrong with the Pop! OS setup. Now, like Pop! OS usually does, we get basically an OEM install. If you've ever installed Pop! OS on a re regular computer, it's basically the same thing. You boot it up, it's going to walk you through setting up the OEM setup, what's your time zone, uh, your internet connections, and yes, my internet here in the van is the FBI surveillance van. <laughs> I know. Uh, go ahead and give it your information. Now, you start seeing on this screen here with the uh, collecting information, the about us, uh, the about you screen. You can see here I'm trying to type and trying to type and trying to type. And the problem is there is so much lag between the keyboard and the mouse on Pop! OS. And it's random. It's not always. There's times it runs fairly smooth and it'll just stop. And there's times that you see the screen stopping. I'm literally taking the mouse and doing this and it's not responding. And so Pop! OS is not being a really good distribution for running a Raspberry Pi. We go ahead and get it all set up and then you go ahead and reboot the system. And once we get our system reboot, then we can go ahead and we can uh, start working on a little bit more of the setup. So of course, um, once you've boot in after you've created your, uh, your account, you 
go in and it's going to ask you some other questions. How would you like to dock? Is it going to talk about easier gestures and, and navigation? Assuming, of course, your keyboard and your mouse are working. You can choose your light, uh, light mode or your dark mode option. And then, hey, we're all done. And now we got some major lag out. Apparently, what was going on here is there was... Uh, the updater in the background was working and taking so much system process. That's probably what was interrupting the mouse. But I did get interruptions in other places as well. So we land here on the main Pop! OS desktop. And as it looks like I'm sitting here doing nothing, trust me, I'm frantically trying to get the mouse to respond because it is extraordinarily slow on this distribution. Finally, we get it to respond. You can see the pop shop is asking for some updates. I'm going to go ahead and do it in the terminal because I know the pop shop is not going to work super well. So I'm going to go in. We're going to do a pseudo apt update. And one of the things that we notice as it's running through this is there's something wrong with the um, ARM64 packages are not, uh, they're saying that it, the impish in release does not support this architecture. So Pop! OS by default is giving us repositories that are having some form of issue. And I'm not sure exactly what downstream consequences this is going to be. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see what it's going to take to upgrade, but it's, uh, it's just a little over, uh, I'd say a little under 300 megabytes of download for a test machine. I'm not willing to give up that data. So we're just going to go ahead and abort the update, but I do want to have a look at some of the things here. So built in here, we can see our, um, we can see just the basic apps involved in, in, um, uh, in pop OS. We'll pull up the, here the system monitor in a little bit. This is the point in time I wanted to change the screen resolution. And you can see that while it did get the screen resolution set up here, it was not able to pass that onto the monitor. And so I was not actually able to keep that. So we're just going to go back to the 720p uh, hangout there for a little bit. Now just going ahead and having a look at our software installed, pulling up the system monitor, we can see that this is pretty heavy. For comparison, um, um, Manjaro Plasma is running about a third of this, as is uh, Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit edition, also running you know, only a few hundred megabytes. So this running 1.5 gigabytes on a Raspberry Pi is probably why this system is extraordinarily slow and sluggish. Now I wanted to go ahead and install some extra software. Let's just go ahead and uh, push uh, installation of Evolution. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and install that. That's, you know, not a lot of data to download there. So we're going to go ahead and install that. And you can see that it installs pretty quickly. Uh, it downloads pretty quickly. It installs pretty quickly. So when the thing starts working, it does seem to work okay. But we get a lot of cases where it just lags out, particularly with your mouse and, and such. And so um, while that's going, just have another brief look at our settings over here. And all of our settings is, is basically the same. Here's our wireless. We have our networking. Of course, we're connected on um, uh, with a Ethernet cable, not connected into uh, wireless. We have a lot of other backgrounds and whatnot. And the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to just have a brief look at what it would take to install things on um, the Pop Store. Um, because I know in my original test, I wanted to install a suite of software to see, would this be a viable thing to use for my work? Now I should have prefaced the video with this, but if you guys don't know for eight months, I've been doing my entire day job on a Raspberry Pi. Okay. And, and it has worked just fine. A little slower than my other computers, but not significantly slow enough that it caused frustration or anything else. So I'm used to the slight lagginess you will get on a Raspberry Pi. The problem is here, um, when I try to install Chromium web browser through the, um, through the terminal, of course, it is a snap because this is based on Ubuntu. And so that wanted to install SnapD. I'm like, no. Um, but you can see here as I boot up the pop store, it completely freezes out. Well, HTOP's not there. Let's go ahead and install HTOP uh, just to see what it's going on on a little bit more lightweight application. So once that gets installed, you can see that the system is, uh, it doesn't appear to be sluggish, but it certainly is behaving to be so. So the memory is saying that there's a little bit more resources available than than it would suggest. 
So you can see here, um, you know, between six and 10% on those and the pop shop's completely frozen. I'm just gonna have to force shut it down. All right. And we're gonna try it again. Once again, I go boot it up. Anytime I just attempt to search for something, it simply crashes the, the pop store. So ultimately I'm finding that Pi, um, the Pi is not really working with Pop! OS, and I'm not super surprised by this. Um, Ubuntu itself has so much going on in the background that it really causes just a lot of back-end systems to constantly be running that things like Manjaro and Raspberry Pi OS have solved, and so we don't have a lot of those same issues. So while I have been using a Raspberry Pi for over eight months now in my regular day job, um, Pop! OS is nothing that I could work. I could not see using uh, the Pop! OS version of Raspberry Pi in any form of production at all. It is too slow, it is too unstable, it's too buggy, it lags out too much. It's it's just not a good a good experience. It's a work in progress, and it's certainly a step forward. So um, maybe in the future they will get this resolved. But for just a little bit of comparison, let me show you the exact same Raspberry Pi this time running Manjaro. Now understand too, I want to get rid of Plasma and go back to an F XFCE because I think it's going to be a lighter, better, uh, more user-friendly experience to do that. It's going to lag out less. But you can see here, we have a system monitor going. Uh, I don't have HTOP installed, but I'm not going to install it because this is a production machine. We'll open up Dolphin. Let's open up GIMP. Let's open up Firefox. You can see that while the system monitor is certainly pushing the CPU up, you can see the RAM is not seriously being impacted. We can boot up GIMP. We can boot up file um, Firefox. And by the way, I can watch YouTube videos on this. It's not the best experience in the world, but if I need to watch a tutorial or test something related to regular work, I can go ahead and do that. So if you are looking for a Raspberry Pi in some form of work production environment, do not use Pop! OS. It's not going to work well for you. Um, in fact, I tried a few different options and solutions before finally settling on Manjaro. Manjaro itself worked very well. I was able to get work done. I do regular work with GIMP. I do regular work with web design development. I use Evolution, Bluefish Editor, um, Firefox, LibreWolf, uh, Simple Screen Recorder, just a lot of different things. And so the reality is you can do work on a Raspberry Pi, and this is a Raspberry Pi 4, 8 gigabytes of RAM, but Pop! OS, even on the same exact Pi, even in theory running what should be a faster system utilizing the um, uh, utilizing the the USB drive instead of an SD card, Pop! OS is a really bad user experience. It's a step in the right direction. It's good to see mainstream distros moving in the direction to support Pi, but as of right now, it's more of a curiosity than it is anything for good solid production. So sorry I don't have any positive to report on that front, but hey, it's there, just don't plan on it actually working well. So there's my thoughts. If you have had a chance to experiment with Pop! OS on a Raspberry Pi, let me know your experience down below. If there's any other distributions you'd like me to have a look at on the Raspberry Pi, let me know. Uh, I actually have this guy now set up for being able to do a little bit more testing. I do want to get another Raspberry Pi here soon as well. Uh, easier testing and whatnot. So anyway, with that, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash t-o-m-m or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.